Okay, today I got uh, the uh, cable from my control box installed into the VFD and uh, I uh, switched my uh, PMDX 107 over to be able to um, Sorry, I'm focusing there. All right, to be able to uh, uh, do forward and reverse control, that's different than run and direction. In that, uh, this is uh, they call it the digital common. This one is, uh, I think it's reverse. One of the two. Yeah, that one is reverse, and this one is forward. So it's got a relay contact on the 107 board, and uh, when you want to go in reverse, it shorts these two. So there must be a pull-up resistor um, on the logic board that uh, will pull that pin high um, when uh, when it's not when the contactor isn't closed or the and same with the, with the forward. So, if either one of those two is on, it will uh, turn tell the spindle that it's on. Now, run direction is a little bit different. If uh, the direction is set whether this one is high or low, and the on and off is set whether this is high or low. So, um, the 107 can do either one. It just looked like it was easier to set up this way for this particular spindle, although I think you can get into that manual and dig around for the settings to make it do run and direction as well. But anyway, um, alright, then the other thing is this is um, ground uh, for the analog signal, I think. Is that right? Or is that VI? That's VI. So this is the ground then for the analog signal this one here and this one is the voltage signal you can see that one back there um, so uh, I did have to go into mock and reverse my uh, uh, speed setting so that it goes zero at um, zero volts at zero rpms and um, so that was the only thing I had to do in mock. So uh, let's give this a shot and see if it works again. Um, I can turn my light off now. So come over here and uh, hit the run button. So that should be sending power to the VFD. Um, oh, I forgot to mention this this other wire on here that's kind of looped around that's actually my shielding um, I'm not sure if I'm going to connect that to this ground it is grounded on the box on the connector on the box so it still should be providing me the protection that I need I wasn't sure I didn't want to cut it off right now so I just uh, put wire insulation all the way around it and kind of wrapped it up so it wouldn't touch anything for now um, anyway so that's on. Um, so then I can go to Mach 3, which I have up here. Um, first off, let's go to config and do my. Where is it? I think it's on ports and pins. Motor output. Okay, so um, I had to switch this one. This one was checked to step active low, and I unchecked that. I think I I followed the, some directions on setting this up from the PMDX website on using it with the uh, smooth stepper, and I think they recommended to change that, and I don't think I need to do that when I don't use the smooth stepper. So anyway, that should be set. Hit my reset. Okay. Now let's do the MDI. 
All right, so let's do. I think I can give it M5 to make sure the spindle is off. Okay, let's do an S. Say. Uh, uh, twenty thousand. Okay, so it's gonna go, and then M three should make it go in the forward direction. <coughs> okay, so it's on, and it is really close to twenty thousand RPMs. This is an analog input, so it's not gonna be exactly on twenty thousand, but within 40 RPM, it's not too bad. Um, and you can see the uh, forward light is on, and if I give it an M5 or an M4 command, it should slow down and go into reverse. So let's do that. M4. Alright, you hear it slowing down. Alright, the reverse light is on now, and now it's back up to 20,000. As you can hear from my last video, I really sped up that acceleration. Um, I think I'm using two seconds acceleration and three seconds deceleration. Um, if you give the decel too fast, it um, kind of it's a little jumpy when it decelerates. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm happy with that. It speeds up. Uh, pretty fast and um, it seems to do alright so thanks very much all I'll talk to you soon